Today I'm going to make a zombie spawning machine. So I'm going to start out here with a little pad that they can land on. And I'm going to call that pad. Let me go over and position it. 0, 2.5 and 0. Let's see. Now let me make it 10 by 0.5 by 10. There we go. So this is the 0 part of the world here. And I need a little chute for the zombies to come down. So that's going to be my cylinder. I'll call this shoot. And make this say six studs long and three by three for its, its thickness. Go ahead and change the orientation so it's up and down so the zombies can fall out. See, I'll go to position, and now that my pad is at the zero, I'm going to make X and Z zero on the cylinder, and it'll be right above the pad. And then I just gave it a, a height of 20 studs. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and anchor it. And I'm going to turn can collide off, because the zombie has to come through it. All right, so now... Let me do a control D. Notice collisions are not on. So I do control D and I'm going to get a part inside the chute. I'm going to call that um, spawner. And that's where my, my zombies are going to come out of. It's going to be, it's basically going to signify the, um, the position for the zombies. Now I'm going to turn collisions on because I want to push it right up against. Boom. There we go. All right. Turn collisions back off, and maybe I'll give that a different color. There we go. Hmm. All right, now that one needs to be anchored. That's good. And can collides off, still good. Now I want a pipe coming out. We click on shoot, control D to copy it again. Call this pipe. And I'll go ahead and change the orientation move it. I'm actually going to make it bigger. I'm going to make the thickness the same, keep the thickness the same, but I'm going to make it 10 studs, 10 studs long. There we go. Move it in a little more maybe. And now I'm going to take the chute, control D, move it over here. This is going to be my tank. Right, so I'll say maybe 10 by 10 by 10. There we go. That looks good. And I'll put a support. So I'll duplicate the tank, drop it down, and the support I'll make looks like 10 is good. So I'll do 10, 2, and 2. There we go. Oh, gotta make that bigger. I'll make it 18. 18 studs on the X. Don't forget the reason it's X is up and down here because we changed the orientation of the cylinder. All right, that looks good. So let me go ahead and anchor this stuff. I got to rename this one. This is a support. Uh, we got a shoot. We got two shoots. Let's make this tank. There we go. And we'll go ahead and select everything just to make sure it's anchored. And on this one, support, I want can collide on because we want to be able to bump into it. This one will turn can collide on. Pipe, I'm going to leave it off just in case the zombie, when he spawns, that interferes. We probably could turn it on. Spawner definitely has to be, can collide has to be off. And shoot, can collide has to be off. All right, now let's group all of these together. And I'll say Z machine. Let me go down here to spawner. And I'm going to put the spawning script right on that. So let's make a script. And I'll call this uh, Z spawner. All right, let me go ahead and make the type a little bigger. 
All right, so we want um, we want to get a zombie. We don't have a zombie. So what we got to do is we got to go to toolbox and these drilling zombies, they upgraded them. So now they chase you real nice. And um, I'm going to take drilling zombie. I'm going to change the name just to zombie. I'm going to drag it into server storage. Now you won't see them in the workspace anymore, but we're going to spawn them. All right, so I'll go back to my Z spawner and we'll go to gain, get service, server storage. That's where we put our zombie and you should find a zombie in there. All right, and we need the, uh, we need the spawner because we need the position of that and our script is attached to that. So we can just do a script dot parent. And we'll do a while loop, true, while true, do, local, zom. And this is going to be a cloned zombie. We're just going to clone them over and over, make copies. And local, we need the root part of the zombie, of the new zom. That's a humanoid root part. That'll be good. We know that it exists because we put the model in there. Root. And we're going to change the C frame. We're just going to change the position on the C frame. So C frame equals C frame new. And I'm going to get the spawners position for my new C frame. And actually, let's drop them down. Let's drop the zombie down a little bit. So I'll say vector three new. We're going to change it zero in the X, but minus one on the Y and zero on the Z. So it's just going to be slightly down below the spawner. Well, zombie parent or zom parent. So we've got to parent something before it shows up in the workspace. We'll do, we'll make the parent the workspace. And then let's just wait. Actually, let's wait at the beginning. That way when the game starts, we have a couple seconds. Oh, let's make it like three seconds. And then we'll will give us an extra two seconds to get into the world. All right, let's try it out. Oh, I spawned right where the zombies are coming. And here they come. So we can make little noises for the machines to run and do all kinds of different stuff with this. But it's a good starting point. You got a little model for a zombie spawning machine.